This video is sponsored by DisabilityQuotes.com. They have been helping residents and also practicing physicians find the right type of disability insurance for the past 20 years. This type of insurance ensures that your income continues when you cannot continue practicing medicine. It's important, so important that I personally have disability insurance. Click on the link below in the description for a free quote from them today. What's up everyone? This is Dr. Webb here. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe. New videos coming every week. You don't want to miss these videos. Today I'm going to talk about research and kind of the research that I did and some myths that are out there. So research, first of all, research is important, very important. It sets you apart from other applicants who may not have any research whatsoever. Um, you can start research in college. You can start it and medical school and residency and it can be any type of research it can be bench work which which means you go into the lab and you're using the pipette or using different in instruments in the lab or it can be clinical research kind of reviewing charts or looking at different uh different aspects of patient care from a prospective or retrospective uh, you know point of view but what i didn't know and so I got into residency is that the research that you have in college can be used on your residency application. So if you did some research in a lab or you got a publication, that will actually look really good because you can use that for your residency application. I didn't know that until I got into residency. Um, I didn't have much research in college. My time in, in college was spent in the military and also working full time in the military. So I didn't have much time to do research. I think I maybe had very at very little um, in medical school I did have some research I did some general surgery research some clinical research as well as um, uh, basic some orthopedic uh, research as well but not a lot of research a lot of people think that to go into the competitive specialties that you have to have five publications or six publications or eight publications that's not true most places they want you to have research because it shows that you're interested in that field or you're kind of dedicated to that particular field, but it's not required. Certain specialties, I would say they do require research like neurosurgery, dermatology. It will probably be almost impossible to get into those specialties without any research at all. Plastic surgery, plus or minus, but you need to have some research, whether that is clinical versus bench work, and it doesn't necessarily have to be in that particular field that you're going into. Say for instance, you have some general surgery research, but you're applying to plastic surgery. You can always kind of tie it into plastic surgery. So I did this study on laparotomies and we looked at, you know, where their patients get x lapped is what we call it, where they cut you on the belly and open up and inspect your um, abdominal cavity, uh, where the patients do better with that versus uh, um, laparoscopic, I don't know. But you can always tie that into plastic surgery. So I didn't have, I had very little orthopedic research before I applied to orthopedic residency. I had some spine research, applying the spine fellowship, but it doesn't have to necessarily be in that particular field. Also, I would recommend that don't just do research just to do it. Find something that's interesting to you, a project that you can uh, possibly get on um, otherwise, it's just gonna be research is gonna be boring to you. To be honest, research to me is very boring. I hate research, but it's important for, to progress the field of medicine. But and then to progress in the medical field, you have to have it. But I'm not a big research person. That's the reason why I'm going into mostly private practice um, for after my training. So the ways to get involved in research, I would say. At your medical school, there should be plenty of opportunities to get involved in research or at your college. You have to just ask around, ask your professors, ask the people in the lab, 
ask the um, your clinicians, the your um, your doctors at the hospital, say, hey, do you have a research project that I can possibly get on, or or that you need some help with? And there's always a lot of research going on. In med school at Georgetown, there was a email list that was. I don't know, 10 to 15 pages, and it had all the professors at the medical school and their projects that they were working on and what type of assistance that they needed. So uh, presenting your research, it actually looks good as well. You can put your presentations, poster presentations or PowerPoint, put that out on your application, so that looks good as, good as, good as well. So like I said, research, it's important, but for most specialties, it's not required. For some specialties, they it's highly encouraged, like neurosurgery, dermatology, plastic surgery. I would even add orthopedic surgery, but it's not required. And then, but that also, that's also program specific. So read each particular program. Some programs may want you to have three or four publications before you can even apply. So you, it's very program specific. Certain programs are not really big on research. Other programs are big on research, like Duke or hospital for special surgery those people they produce a lot of research mayo clinic they produce a lot of research so if you're applying there you better have a good research academic record so but if you go to just a community program kind of in the middle of nowhere they may not be too concerned about your research experience so uh, lastly to get it like i said to get a hold of people to get on projects just email them Email five to 10 doctors and I promise someone will get back to you. There's always lots of research going on. And lastly, you can use your research from your college for your residency application. And basically that stays on your, that's, that's your CV. So publications are good, try to get them. If you can't get a publication, just being a part of research helps as well. This is what Dr. Webb, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe, new videos coming every week. You don't wanna miss them.